This comes after a week of controversy over comments from Republican Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy, suggesting that the committee is intent on damaging Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign. Watch. Everybody thought Hillary Clinton was unbeatable, right? But we put together a Benghazi special committee, a select committee. What are her numbers today? Her numbers are dropping. Why? Because she's untrustable. Reaction was fierce. Democrat leader Nancy Pelosi called for the committee to be disbanded. And today, the Clinton campaign released this political ad. The Republicans finally admit it. Republican Kevin McCarthy saying the committee investigating Benghazi and Clinton's emails was created to destroy her candidacy. Everybody thought Hillary Clinton was unbeatable, right? But we put together a Benghazi special committee. What are her numbers today? Republicans have spent millions attacking Hillary because she's fighting for everything they oppose, from affordable health care to equal pay. She'll never stop fighting for you, and the Republicans know it. Republican Congressman Trey Gowdy is the chairman of the Select Committee on Benghazi. Good to see you tonight, sir. And so you, yes, you, I mean, you've been praised by both sides of the aisle at times uh, for the way you've handled this committee. I imagine you feel very disappointed in those comments, but you tell me. Well, Kevin's wrong, and, um, and I would ask your viewers and everyone else, frankly, those that are suspicious and those that have been supportive, uh, to don't focus on the words that people who are not on the committee use, focus on the actions of those of us who have been on the committee for the last year and a half. And Megan, out of the 54 witnesses that we have interviewed, 41 of whom, by the way, no other committee interviewed, not a single one of them has been named Clinton. Of the 50,000 documents, new documents that we have accessed, less than 5% have anything to do with her. And if you look at the public hearings we've had so far, her name is not crossed my lips. So it's Cheryl not Mills all about was, Hillary Clinton. That's your point. It's not all about her. But, she, but she, let me ask you. She because, was the Secretary because, of State at all relevant times, so we'd be crazy not to talk to her. Mm -hmm. But Kevin McCarthy came out and suggested that he regretted the comment. But I ask you directly, has he apologized to you? Profusely, Megan. Uh, Kevin is a friend. That does not insulate him from being wrong. Uh, but he has apologized profusely, and, and, and I have accepted it. And now it is time for me to continue getting ready for October 22nd. She's going to be treated professionally. She's going to be treated fairly. Look at what Cheryl Mills said when she spent nine hours with us. She staff. left the room and said, I was treated respectfully, professionally, fairly, and she thanked us for our work. This is Secretary Clinton's number two person that said that. But Hillary herself came out and said this comment she says, does a grave, grave disservice and dishonors the memory of the four people who were killed in Benghazi. Well, Megan, the only thing I can tell you is this. I made a promise to the family members before we ever started. Republicans and Democrats were in there at the same time. And I said, we are going to do this in a way that, is honor, that honors the memory of your, of your loved ones. And we're going to do it in a way that garners the respect of our fellow citizens. And I think that our committee has done just that. I cannot control what people not on our committee say or do. What I can control is how we act. And if you look at how we've conducted ourselves leading up to October 22nd, and then look at the 40 witnesses we call after October 22nd, not a one of whom will be named Clinton. She was Secretary of State. I cannot avoid calling her. Quick, well, quick question she's before one I let out you of go. 100. Quick question before I let you go. Any, any, hearing anything from the Clinton camp that she might not show up? Because some in the press are speculating now. No, ma'am. I, I, I think she's going to come. She said she's going to come. She's going to be treated fairly. She's going to be asked fact-centric questions. And I, my suspicion is her conclusion will be the same as Cheryl Mills, that this committee uh, proved for once that a Washington investigation can actually be done the right way. Congressman Trey Gowdy, great to see you. Thank you. Y yes, ma'am. Thank you. Well, another potential foreign policy nightmare shaping up for this administration. and. The